I'd send my samples off, you know, about 15 or 20 a month, and then I'd get my rejections or I'd get no, no response, and I assume those that didn't respond threw my stuff in the garbage. The toughest hurdle to get over isn't necessarily once you're in the business, it's, it's just to get in the business. Um, and so for, for me, it took me, you know, I started collecting comic books, like I said, when I was about 16. I, I, I taught myself to draw superhero comic books, American superhero comic books. It took me about four years to sort of just learn that, that style. Uh, and, 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 and again, in that, that's where I, Created characters like Spawn, um, but once once I sort of had that down, then I started putting pages together and I started sending them out and going to conventions. And so I I pull on all the editors' sleeves or go to portfolio reviews and show my stuff. But really, more than anything else, I just stayed up at night because I you know I was going to school and and I was on a, a baseball scholarship and I was working uh, on campus and I was working at the at the uh, comic shop and I was doing my homework so it was about midnight every day before I could actually do my comic book stuff so I always tried to put in about an hour and a half of that and I'd send, I'd send my samples off you know about 15 or 20 a month and then I'd get my rejections or I'd get no, no response and I assume those that didn't respond threw my stuff in the garbage so over the course of about three years you know I, I, I sent out about 700 packages I used to keep track on this little chart and I got about half of them had people come back saying, you're not good enough, but, you know, why don't you try this, why don't you try this. I mean, some just said, stop sending it, you're not very good. But most people were very, I thought, were good with constructive criticism. So, you know, again, for anybody that wants to break into comic books or music or novels or TV or Hollywood, I mean, it's, you got to get a thick skin. I mean, they're, they're not going to hire you on your first day out, they're not, you know, the first time you come out. And they shouldn't because... You, you, in hindsight, once you get in, if you get in, you will see that you really weren't that good at the beginning. I mean, it's the, it's the reason why they were saying, no, you weren't that good. I wasn't that good. I wasn't much better pro, as, as a pro at the beginning as, as, when, as I was as an amateur. I, I was, you couldn't really sort of see the difference. Just luckily, I was able to say, hey, I'm now, I'm now a pro. Uh, but the biggest difference was that once I got in, they started paying you to draw 10 hours a day. So then all of a sudden your learning curve starts going up. So uh, I, for anybody that wants to break into the business, you know, I, the, a couple words of advice, you know, go to as many conventions as you can, talk to the people who actually do the hiring, um, which is the editors. Um, talk to, to artists if, you're, if you want to break in as an artist because they'll be able to give you pointers, but, but they don't hire you. Take those pointers from the artist and then show the stuff to the editor. And then more than anything else, the other two pieces is use one of their characters. Use a use a mainstream character. Even though I know you've got your spawn someplace, don't do it because they don't understand whether you're drawing a good version or a bad version of your character. Because as an editor, and my and that includes me, I can now look at it and go, oh, I've seen Captain America done by a hundred artists. I've seen Batman done by a hundred artists. That's either a good or a bad version of that character. Where if it's your character, Rutabaga man. Uh, nobody, I've never seen anybody draw it, so I don't know whether it's good or bad. So use mainstream characters. Number two, and, and do page-to-page -page continuity. Don't do pinups and covers because th that's not going to get you a job. And then two, the other one that, that, uh, that it's a mistake that a lot of artists make is that if you're going to write in pencil and ink and color and do everything uh, in one book, make sure that you separate each one of those and make a copy of each one. And here's why. I've never heard of anybody who ever got hired by either Marvel or DC that, that got hired as a writer, a penciler, an inker, and a letterer all on the same day. It just doesn't happen. So if you can do all those five skills, including coloring, and you show them each one of those segments, and you can show them the pencils, and then the inks, and then the script, and then there's my letters, and there's the, the, the coloring at different stages, they may say you're a terrible writer, you're a terrible artist, can't ink your way out of, out of a paper bag, and your coloring palette is terrible. But you're not a bad letterer. 
And, 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 and if you can just have one of those skills, you can get in. And if you can then hone that skill, you can get more work. And while you're in the business, you can keep practicing these other skills that you may want to actually get in. Don't ever assume, as a matter of fact, by showing them all of it glued together, you're just setting yourself up for failure. Because what, what, even if this is good, this is good, this is good, and this is good, if one component is bad, like the, the coloring, it may, it, may, it may actually sort of blind them to the other pieces. So say, here's my copies of my pencils, here's my copies of the ink, here's the script, here's my copy of the lettering, and here's the final pages color and give it to them in five segments and that will give you, it's almost like getting interviewed for five different jobs. So your odds go up that you might have a chance or you might have a skill on one of those. And if you can sort of follow those, get some thick skin, I'm telling you, I, I believe the talent will always w will win out. Because when I go to shows and I see a talented young kid, I, I'll give him a job that quick because I'm not concerned whether he's a pro or not. I'm just concerned whether there's good artwork. So if you've got it, keep banging it and keep sending it out.